I feel that it's important for us to be able to truly speak our own opinions and to understand what's happening in the world. I think it's really important just to develop young leaders because at the end of the day the kids of today are the futures of tomorrow. To me what makes this program special is that it allows students from all over the world, such as New Zealand and Australia, to come to America and learn the American culture. Even when we're having fun, we're still learning so much. Basically, this program is for gaining leadership skills whilst learning about climate change and the environment. And then we're going to be able to take those skills that we've learned back to our host communities and make an impact back on. This program is incredibly unique because it brings young people from Australia and New Zealand together for a three-week immersive experiential leadership training program. It's bringing them together not only to live with one another, but to live with American host families, to gain leadership skills, to gain problem-solving skills, and an understanding of the global environmental challenges that we face today, and how they can build the skills to go back to their communities and make a positive change. Last week, we were at Lake Tahoe in California. Lake Tahoe is beautiful. It's just amazing to see all of the organisations that are working together to keep that part of the world a sacred and beautiful place. And we are going to be going to Washington DC. Until now i would never left um, New Zealand, I'd only been to Australia once. So yeah, it's my first big trip like abroad. Now we're in Portland, we're staying with host families. The biggest highlight for me has been the homestay with the host family. It's been an awesome opportunity just to learn about American culture and their way of living and how similar it is to us. We're all trying to make the environment better and become youth leaders in our own communities. I think what's really unique about World Learning's youth programs is that they bring out the spirit of education. They make education fun. Sitting in a classroom uh, learning something is really limited. But when you come out here, you experience things. You experience different people talking about different things. And I think it's so much more hands-on. Our young people were able to understand how a solar panel works. ways that you can really take advantage of renewable energy in order to solve climate change. And we were able to learn about it from in a hands-on way to actually understand the science behind it. Yeah, exactly. So when you have... Uh... We really broke it down, which is really cool, so you kind of, we all could really understand it from a sort of just high school sort of physics level. A special focus of this trip has been uh, regarding climate change and environmental leadership. <laughs> We've been diving into how local environmental issues connect to global problems. Today we are up the Columbia River. We're approximately 90 miles east of Portland, Oregon in a, an area sacred and active. The Columbia River Intertribal Fish Commission is the preeminent indigenous natural resources agency in the world. We are bringing fish back to a river system that many had written off decades ago as simply uninhabitable anymore for salmon. For that same fish to recover to where it's ready to go back into the river. For me, it was really interesting being a part of the indigenous culture back at home in New Zealand to see how the indigenous people of America have a presence in the decisions that are made concerning their land, their waters. We can at least share the things that are deep down important to our people, what we're doing to fight to protect that, why it's worth it, why the tribes will persevere in working toward things like salmon restoration and protection of sacred places. It's been very life-changing. 
in the short time I've been here at Portland to see how the Native American has a part in America as well. We bring young people out of the classroom. We expose them to new ways of learning. And in the process, we give them the tools to continue learning on their own when they're back home in their communities. From the knowledge I've gained on this trip, I hope to be able to take it back to Auckland, New Zealand and teach kids about ways that themselves, their family and their school can minimise the effects of global warming. It's really important for young people these days to be really environmentally conscious and conscious of the different cultures in the world so that we know that it's not just us in the world, that there's other people here too. I want to use this experience to inspire other people to do something like this, to be able to understand the bigger picture of the world and make a difference.